Hi, welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel. We're here in Gresham at Metro East Community Media. We're going to be talking now with Max Ribner of the Max Ribner Band. Hi, Thanks Monica. for being here, Max. Glad to be here. Thank you. you know, you were here, oh, what was it? Um, two months ago. Two months ago. Two yeah. months ago. Seems like yesterday. Right. And you were talking about your um, Leap to Flame Dream show. Yes. And I had the pleasure of attending that show. I had a fabulous time. It was way more than I expected. And you're going to do it again, aren't you? Number two is coming, yeah. Um, a dream come true, basically, to right. have this vision and dream kind of um, in pursuit. Yeah, and you're, you're making it come to life. So so for those who um, were not fortunate enough to go to the show or see the uh, the interview last time, tell people what, what this show is about, uh, why you're doing it, and what your right. mission is for all this. Yes, so welcome world in <laughs> Portland and Oregon. Um, my name is Max Ribner, and... Um, basically, Leap the Flame uh, is a quote from my grandfather, passed to my father, to my brother, to me, and it's all about letting your purpose leap to flame. And so when this quote finally came to me, it was this spark of inspiration of like, wow, it's time. It's time for me to leap the flame. So it was a two and a half year pro um, process of creating this album, Leap the Flame. And throughout creating this um, album, mm -hmm. I had this dream that kept coming through of not doing um, just a regular show, but a production. And the production involves like a curtain and an acoustic piano and storytelling and dance and world fusion and um, jazz, gospel, soul, kids, elders. So yeah, by it the- was, it was, When you told me about it, it sounded so ambitious. I thought, ooh, this is gonna be a big thing to, to pull off. Yes, you know, I know yeah. you have your, your um, CD and I, and I can show that to, to the people. This is um, the Leap to Flame. Max Ribner Band. Um, this yeah. is your latest. That's our you, third album. This is your third one. And you, you, you're a great musician. You, and you. you have wonderful people working with you. Um, but it's not all about the band. It's, it encompasses so much more. And that's what right. I found really, it was moving. It was um, it was a really a beautiful thing. And it, you had, I loved it starting out with, um, you had the elders, you had the, uh, what is it, Four Winds? Oh, four, four Winds Foundation, right. yeah. So this is kind of, a, it's almost like a tripod. So we have the Max Ribner Band, we have Youth Music Empowerment, and Four Winds Foundation, which the elder who came out, her name is Sweet Medicine, she'll be at the next show. And she's a wisdom keeper, and um, so she was the storyteller of the night. And I've had that dream where we incorporate the elders, because they're so very important, just mm -hmm. like our kids. And so in a sense, what the music is, is a platform for them to be seen, for her to be seen, for her wisdom to be shared and um, protected. The in kids eat it up, don't they? Yeah, they just, the kids. I mean, they follow, yeah. they follow her around like, yeah. you know, like she was a, yeah. a rock star or something, right. but she had right. a, lot, a lot to share. Um, that, was, that was really cool. And then seeing the kids actually, because there were some kids doing some music. Like one, one, one of the kids did is- um, Imagine. His, well, yeah, it was yeah. His, his first time. His first he was time. Uh, seeing it and, Oh, yeah, yes. and it's cool that you mentioned that because this um, Leap the Flame Dream Show is about opportunity. Mm -hmm. It's about letting yeah a child have his first performance on great. stage yeah, he was so and um, way beyond the band. And yeah. that's that was part of what the vision is. It's really my experience in Portland about community and and um, sharing. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You you brought a video. I mean, we should take a look at that. Just um, and tell us what we're going to be seeing on the video here. So you're about to see the last show of Le uh, the Leap to Flame Dream Show that Monica was at, and this was at Lincoln Hall. And um, we I put together um, a three minute video of just like those moments that were really like powerful. Okay. So you'll see this, and um, this is what the sh next show will be about, and just what the dream, how it came together. Okay. So enjoy. Let's take a look at that now.
goodness. My dad. Great. That was great, Max. That was a that was a good little, uh, you know, you get a taste of pretty much everything that you had going on there. Yeah, uh, Saida. Right? Saida, right? That's Ooh, who powerful you saw. voice. Yeah, yeah. She, She'll be featured on the next show. She really? Too. Yeah, she was. She was great. She really, she really got people involved in the band. And you had um, you had musicians from the Portland State. Yeah, we yeah. featured um, musicians from Portland State University. So bringing in education and PSU was just so very kind. Yeah, because it was out in their hall. Yeah, 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 right. Kind of hall, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. So what was what was the best part of the night for you? Just pulling it off? <laughs> yeah, that and when we got to the song Leap the Flame, I actually the first time in my life broke down on stage. I saw and that. However, yeah. it was like I was really proud that we we had so many compliments of overall like the vulnerability mm -hmm. and the tenderness in a sense. Because you know it's not easy to, to go there, yeah. and so I think when we follow our dreams and then we're actually there on the stage and we see it happen, that's that's just yeah, going to happen. Beautiful. So yeah. yeah, overall, I mean, it was it was a dream come true, and now it's a dream that it's moving. I think one of my favorite parts is when you brought your parents up. Oh yeah, I, I just yeah. being a parent and uh, yeah, you know, being thank proud you. of my kid. I just can imagine <laughs> they were very very proud of you and what you'd accomplished. And yeah, thank you, know. you, mom and dad. That was the first time yeah, was um, so nice. we brought them up, and I was like, that's a, that's a nice part. It was a really up. nice touch because you know you said you you um, got the leap to flame. You got that that phrase from you know family. And it was right. passed down passed and down. you know it just kind of just rounded out there. Right. You know? Yeah, so right. it, was, it was lovely. It was beautiful. So this next show is going mm -hmm. to be. Um, let's see. We have the we have the poster here. I mean, we can take a look at it. Matt's sure. looking all buff there in the front. <laughs> so this is going to be at the Alberta Rose Theater. That's right. Um, I can't say ticket prices on the air, but we can say that this is. If people want information about the tickets, that we they can go to your website. Sure. And yeah, at maxrubnerband.com. Um, this will be featuring Saida Wright. Um, the, also, the woman with a lovely, strong, powerful voice. Yep. Yeah, also featuring Kilikina's Chocolate. Um, we would love good health and nourishment through foods and music. So at intermission, you can get some really mm -hmm. good chocolate. Uh, Four Winds Foundation, Youth Music Empowerment, the youth group that I've been working with. I love working with kids. Mm -hmm. So they'll be there in their little wolf pack. <laughs> They're um, so great. Yeah, and it's at and 7 so o'clock on September 4th. Okay. Thursday, September 4th, Alberta Rose Theater. That's a good venue, too. That's yeah. a, you know, And nice. one also... It, important thing. This is presented by World Fusion Events. Thank you, Laura, at World Fusion Events. I put a post out um, after the dream show of like, hey, I'm looking for some help and, mm -hmm. you know, some support. And then as soon after that, um, Michael Doss and, and his, his friend Laura helped reach out and said, all right, let's do it again. Nice. So thank you to them. Yeah, I was surprised so. that you were able to turn around and do it again so quickly. Right, me too. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's really great to have partners in the community that are willing to right. help, help get it out. So you said something about working with the kids, and yeah. I saw that that night. That the, you know, the kids, they kind of flock around to you. But they all, there was um, they had the dancers and the kind of gymna gymnasts and uh, music, and uh, they kind of do everything. What, what is it that you do with the kids? I mean, what is, how great. do you work with them? So the group's called Youth Music Empowerment. Um, I've actually been on the show a couple times talking about it, and I love talking about the, the young ones because they're such an important part of our society. Mm -hmm. And the group I launched is called Youth Music Empowerment, and what, what it's about is really them standing in their power, teaching music in a kind of an alternative way. Because I learned music in a very classical, and, Structured and I way. more and more not hear um, kids that want to quit school or, or arts programs that are being cut. Yeah. And so my, my thing is, well, hey, let's use that as a spark of inspiration and let's, let's create more 
art in the world because that's how we're going to make the change. And so you, that's really what it is. It's a kind of a branch off the Max Rubner Band in a vision that's formed and now this little pack, wolf pack, that's always growing. Well, we, the first thing we teach these kids is that there's a, world, a word called um, ohana and ohana is family in Hawaiian. When I visited Hawaii, we learned about that. And it means, hey, we're all family, you know, and the circle can always grow. So we, we, that's one of the first things we bring in the group. And you'll notice at these dream shows that, you know, some, we'll, have, we'll call in more kids and it's all about just sharing and passing the torch. That's great. Yeah. Music's a, a good way to do that. It, it, kids are so drawn to music. Um, what, what has music done for you besides, besides giving you a career? What, you know, what did it, that do for you growing up? Music has given me a purpose. You know, it's ever since fourth grade, I've been playing about 20 years. And since the first time I started with private lessons in Connecticut, where I grew up, it, it was like, felt like I was a leader and a mentor from the mm -hmm. start because I had that. It was like the one language I really connected to. Yeah. So it's given me purpose. And that's like what the album's about is let your purpose leap the flame. So here I am 20 years <laughs> later and just standing in standing in that artist and that who I am as an artist and encouraging other artists out there to make the leap and go for it and kids too like you can follow your dreams and don't let anybody stop you from doing that it's gotta feel good yeah yeah well then since we're talking about that and we're just about out of time would you would sure. you uh, share a little bit of your music with us sure and we'll just we'll just uh, go out on that note but don't go away because we'll be right back with more so let's go, uh, go sure, before we go the public service announcements will hear from you. Sure, and this is a melody called Love is Like a Stream from, from our band, kind of one of our mottos, so maybe just keep flowing like the stream. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks much. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we'll All be right. back shortly then. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome.